Hi designers, today I will be showing you how we created this animation from our template gallery at jitter.video slash gallery. So let's jump into it. Right here I have the animation and let's use this scene as a reference for the design. You can create a design in Figma and import with our plugin, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's just design it with our design tool. So first we'll import the video, then give it a width and a height of the same value, making it a square. And then giving that square a very big corner radius will make it a circle. Next up, we want the outer circle right here. So we're just going to create a new circle, giving it a slightly bigger value like so. Then giving it the correct color, which is going to be P84999. And then giving it a donut value of 92%. And then if we align everything, our profile circle is ready. Next up, we have the little live batch right here. So let's import some text. Font is going to be inter, inter, inter right here. Bold, 24 pixels and a white color. And to create actually the border around this, you can import a square, design it and then group it. But what I like to do is just duplicate the text element, select both the text elements in the layers panel by holding shift then grouping these and removing one text element. And what you've done right now is just created a group with only one element, which is this text element. And something interesting is you can actually style this group and even animate it. So let's just give it a name, um, call it tag. And we can give it a background color of the same color as the circle around it, like so. We can give it a corner radius, pixels, like so. And now let's give it this live keyword and our badge is ready. Now just position this and we're done. Now we can start animating this whole thing. So let's go over to the animate tab and start the animation. Oh, before we animate, I'm just going to make one big group of this entire composition because I will want to give the entire thing an animation and if we don't group it, I would have to give separate animations to all of these elements, but right now I can just animate this group and it will be applied to the entire composition. So as a first animation, I will make the entire composition grow in. So let's go to in and then grow in and we have a whole bunch of template animations that you can just click. It's super easy. One click and it is animated. Next up, I want to animate this ellipse. So let's take a look at the animation here, what happens. So we have the ellipse rotate and become bigger, the sweep become bigger in the meantime. So let's give it a custom animation for this one, um, the arc animation, and give it some initial values. The initial sweep will be 0%, the initial degree will be 90 degrees, and then the end sweep will be 100% and 270 degrees and a natural flow that seems about right. So let's take a look. Yeah, that is exactly what we want. At the same time, we already want this tag to grow in as well. So let's give it a little scale, grow in with a back animation. And then let's take the text itself and give it a separate grow in animation on the lines with a back and we want this to apply right after the tag itself started. So let's take a look. All right, we have our in animation and something interesting is you can actually group animations in the animate tab like so and give them a name. I'm gonna call this intro. Now this is not super useful if it's a quite simple animation, but as soon as you have complex animations, you can create these sequences to keep the overview of all your animations. So now we have the in animation and we want to start to create the outro itself. So let's start with the outro as well with the ellipse right here. Give it a new animation, again custom, arc, and the initial value is going to stay the same, but the angle we want to animate to is going to be 810 degrees. 810 degrees and the sweep will go back to zero and for this one let's actually take an accelerate to have a nice effect at the same time when this starts we want to give our or no let's just have this animate out 
and then here we want to have our live patch scale out again so new animation out and so we have here the out tab with all our out animations and this will be scale 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 where is the scale animation of oh, the grow again on the lines with a no smoothing like so then have the tag itself also scale out out scale 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 right here grow out this will have a little time difference like so and then lastly what we want is the entire composition the entire profile to as well scale out so let's take the new animation oh let's select it again new animation out and then scale all right and let's actually go to a final scale of zero here as well final scale of zero so it's actually scaling down and not scaling up and final scale of zero then let's select all the animations group it call it outro outro and now we should have successfully created the animation from our template so let's take a look all right we have the in animation and the out animation now you have successfully animated a live batch if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment and we will respond as soon as possible